So there's a lot of positive change if you allow it, if you'll get that momentum building up. Um, you're focusing really on yourself now and you're not you're not worrying about, you know, what what hurt has been given to you, what these people did to you, um, what they tried to do, the things they said about you. It doesn't matter because you know you and now you're elevating and you're focusing your energy. You know what you bring to the table. You know what you bring to the table. The universe. Angels, let's give insight now into what's going on for the people that did us dirty, the people that hurt us, that left us in the dark, that abandoned us, that hurt us. What, what energy are they feeling now? We got the emu. It says endurance. And I feel like they're really enduring... The pain that they gave to to you they're finally enduring what havoc they created they're enduring um, the havoc that they bestowed okay they're really enduring that now maybe they're standing strong in it maybe you know, for now, you know, there's endurance in staying strong. But I really feel like they're coming to see what they have created and they're enduring their own, their own medicine, a taste of their own medicine. And Emu's I don't think emus can fly, so yet again, they're scavenging on the floor. And there's still this fiery red colour, so, or orange colour, so they're burning. They're burning down. They're not, they're not happy. So we also have the bro, what is it? The brolga? The brolga, and it shows the dance. So I feel like... They're still trying to do that dance. They're still trying to frolic around and show people that they're something they're not. They're this masked person. They're like, oh, look at me. I'm, I'm like so great. I have this and this and this. <laughs> they're with, they're doing that, the, the dance, the masked dance. But they're still not taking off off of the ground. Whoop. They're still not taking off of the ground. Nerds. They just peck. They peck and they scavenge on the ground. That's all they're good for. Pecking and scavenging on the ground. I feel like they're really... Doing the dance of understanding, maybe understanding what they did, let's try and tap further into that. So, what is this? other energy feeling what are they enduring what dance are they dancing you know, are they remorseful <laughs> are they sorry are they getting their karma mm, I know you shouldn't tap into energies like that but you just want to be a little bit nosy Four of Pentacles. I feel like with the Four of Pentacles, they're trying to be really protective with um, these masks and these facades that they have put up. They're trying to be really protective with it now. You see, like, she's there. It doesn't focus. 
they're really holding on to what they have created in their mind and they're holding on to others that they've created too so i feel like they're just they're trying to be really protective of this facade that they have built up um within themselves this facade that they have built up within themselves this facade so yeah they're trying to be really protective of that or well, they're trying to like gather, trying to gather things, but they just can't. They're losing it. We also had um, justice come up. So I feel like there's justice that's being served. So we are getting that justice that we deserve. We are, they are getting, they're not getting justice. We're getting that justice. So that justice is coming up. And I feel like with, with this sword that's being held up, this person is trying to protect their ego or protect this facade, protect this um, character that they've built. Like they think they're a king, okay? Look at that they, they have this crown on. They think they're a king. They think their shit don't stink. They think they're awesome. And they're trying to now protect themselves from what is coming they're trying to protect themselves from karma from the justice that you deserve because you know like if you have bad intentions and you never had good intentions and your your heart was in a bad place and you do things to people to harm them that you know is really going to damage their emotional soul. You think you can just get away with that? You think that that's how the world works? You think that, you know, you think that calm, what goes around doesn't come around? We also have the Two of Swords in reverse. But they have a blindfold on. It's like they're, they're, they're blinded. They're blinded by what they did. They're blindsided by who they are because they're lost. They don't know who they are. They're blinded and they're trying to still protect themselves from this awfulness that they are. And they're still, they're, they have their guard up. Yeah, they're really just trying to protect themselves from this fakeness that they have created. So what I'm reading from the Four of Pentacles is there. They are receiving a lot of karma and it's in a way of financial burden. So a lot of things could be coming up for them like... Um, their car broke down randomly, um, you know, they had to pay something, someone crashed into them, like they're not hurt, but they had to pay an expense, like excess, or they got a random bill, like I just feel like they have been on guard with their finances, um, and it hasn't been flowing for them, and that's the kind of karma that they're receiving, because they're very egotistical, they're very, um, you know, wanting abundance and having abundance is absolutely beautiful. There's nothing wrong with money flow. But for these kinds of people, they not wanting it for the right reasons and they go about it in the wrong way. And they try and do it in a way that they, you know, scam the government, scam the system. And in doing so, it just puts them on their ass because it's karma what goes around comes around you can't you can't do something in a conceited way and expect that it won't catch up to you because it always does so with the two of swords um reversed this person is at a stalemate they're at a crossroads you know they're laying in the bed that they made they're laying in the bed that they made okay 
So they made their bed, they can lay in it, but they don't know what to do now because they've created this. They did these things and now they're like, oh shut up. It didn't really work out the way I thought it would work out. So now what? So with this justice card, um, you know, they may be realizing what they've done. They may realize how they've hurt people um, and how they've gone about things without considering people's emotions. Then, yeah, they may be realizing that and they may be wanting to try and find a way to come back and make it up um, and to have that justice. But really i think you have to if this person or these people try and come back and try and make justice and um you know try and right their wrongs it's up to you to decide listening to your intuition back to that intuition that we don't ignore anymore because we've been there with these with these kinds of people it's up to us to decide if we accept that apology, um, if we accept them back into our lives. And if we, we also want to like intuitively understand, is this coming from a place of genuine concern? Is this coming from a place of, I genuinely hurt you and I'm genuinely sorry and I really want to make peace with that? Or is this just coming from a place of they realise that, no, no, not that they realise, is it just coming from a place of, you know, they don't want to hold the guilt, they don't want to hold the guilt, like they don't care, they don't care if you heal or not, they just want to be forgiven for what they did because they don't want to feel guilty about it like they don't actually care that they hurt you they don't actually want to see you move forward they're not actually happy for your healing they're not actually happy for your happiness but that's for you to discern but either way justice is being served it's all working out in the end for you if you know you're not a bad person if you know you go into this life with pure intentions and to uplift people and be a positive beautiful light you know you have nothing to worry about just be lucky So prosperity, native bee, prosperity, native bee. Basically with the native bee and prosperity, there's a lot of change coming um, for you, for everyone, for the collective. Whether this is positive change or negative change, that depends on you and where you decide to place your energy. It depends on you and whether you're going to commit to yourself, give your body the care, start building that momentum, moving your body, loving your body, bringing your desires and manifestations into physical, into physical, into physicality, physicality, is that a word? <laughs> it's time to let go of the hurt that people try to bestow upon you because you were made for so much more and it was just a lesson nonetheless and people, bitches come and go. I will say thank you for being with me during this intuitive session. I hope it brought you the clarity that you needed. So I hope that you can stay around and bear with me as I figure it all out and we grow together and we manifest our dreams together. A little look-see at, it's gonna be upside down, but 
Thank you.